hero here. 155, nothing, let's go! <laughs> One hundred people surveyed, top six answers on the board. Here's the question. Name a beverage people have before going to bed. Yeah. Water. Water. All right. Two All answers right. will beat it. Name a beverage people have before going to bed. What my husband always drinks. What? Milk. Milk. <laughs> what are you going to get? Richard. We'll play. All right. What a neat husband. He gave you the number one answer I without me. What's the beverage that people uh, have before going to bed? Uh, how about uh, liquor? Good answer. Wow. You see, I'm such a gentleman until then. Oh, uh, slug of booze. Yeah. Mm -mm. We will drink no wine before it's time. Oh, it's time. Uh, drink up. Uh, what do you say? Iced tea. Ice tea, let's look. Ice tea. Yeah. Well, look, lots of beverage that people have before we're going to bed. How about some hot coffee? All right, let's take a look. As if you don't want to sleep, hot coffee. You got it. One more, and you got all the money. What beverage? How about hot chocolate? I love it. Oh, good, good answer. answer. Good answer. I'll make you some sometime. Please do. And I'll make you some day. Oh, I love it. And Lynn, I'll make you some. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, well, you and Mike will drink the booze up. <laughs> Hot chocolate. <laughs> now we've got a game going. 155, 96. Let's go. <laughs> Just as I thought, an air bubble. Dollar values are doubled. 100 people surveyed. Top four answers on the board. Here's the question. Name something a paper boy might use on the job. Yeah. A bicycle. A bicycle. Yeah. What are you going to do? Play or pass? Play, play. play, play. Richard. I'm going to play. Who sent you? Was this your husband sent you? This is up? from my husband and my little puppy Z. For good luck. No, I, no, I don't want to read the no, but it's. Oh, you don't have to read. The <laughs> and I yeah, came all the way from South Carolina. Yeah, and I, I gather he's not here. No. But that's, isn't that lovely that he remembered and uh, sent you? And they seem to be working because now you're in that game. Well done. Uh, Some a paper boy might use on the job, by the way. Um, those little plastic bags to put it in if, in case it's raining. In case it rains. Good answer. Right. Good answer. Those little plastic bags. <laughs> Not that. Well, when it looks like rain, that's exactly what happens with ours. They <laughs> pop them in there. Richard, how about a bag to carry the papers in? All right, sir. Let's take a look, so. Nice big bag. How about rubber bands? Good answer. Yeah, yeah. Good answer. Rubber bands? All the time. Uh, yeah, hold them for luck. No, hold them for luck. Okay. Something a paper boy might use on the job. The little aerosol thing where they would spray if dogs chase them. All right. We'll take a look, lover. If it's there, you got it. If not, second strike. The repellent for dogs. <laughs> no. Oh. Okay, Michael. Um, some paper boys uh, get their parents' car, or get their parents to drive the car for them to deliver the newspapers. How, oh. how about a car? Okay. <laughs> That's it. You got it. If not, third strike. Cop? No. 186 up there. Newspapers. Give me the right answer, and uh, you keep your title. Richard Rennigo with newspapers. All right, well, if that's there, you play for the big money. If not, the game goes on because you get the 186. Newspaper? Number four? A wagon. No idea. 282, 155, let's go. All right, wish you both luck. This will decide it. Dollar values are tripled. 100 people surveyed. Top four answers on the board. Here's the question. Name a food you make in a big pot. Yep. Stew. Stew. 
What are you going to do? Play a pound? We're going to play, Richard. We're going to play, don't we? Okay. okay. I'm going to read it once. When I get to you, well, you know how it works. You've got three seconds to answer. Name a food you make in a big pot. And I won't repeat it. Chili. Chili! Spaghetti. Spaghetti, please. Soup. If soup's there, you keep your title. Soup! Can't get much closer than that without winning there, Philip. Uh, but they got them all. Good. These girls obviously know how to make things in big pots. <laughs> I said it incorrectly, didn't I? Say it for me. It's Edisto Primary School. Edisto Primary. How many children do you have? I huh? have 17. 17? Do they ever have a... Um, do you ever take them out on field trips or anything at oh, all? Oh, yes. They wanted to come with me. <laughs> well, I want to go with you, but I know you got a husband. You've won $282. And I'm going to give you another $50, and I want you to just take them out and buy them a hot dog or an oh, ice cream. Thank and tell them so we all love them here on the field, all right? We are super tired. Okay. Okay. Hey, thank right. you. I'm sorry you didn't win. That's a good one. I hope you had a lovely time. All right? Deborah, Lisa, one more time right after we watch this.